When I was younger, people of color, the samba schools, the batucadas, didn't participate in the official white carnival of Salvador. We celebrated carnival in our own neighborhoods. In 1975, for the first time, the carnival group named Ile Aye, consisting entirely of young black people, dared to parade in the city center and follow the official route of the carnival. Ile Aye was made up of young people, mostly from the Liberdade neighborhood, where the population is primarily black. We were jeered. We paraded under police surveillance because it was still the military dictatorship. The next day, we were attacked and criticized in the local newspapers. They said that Brazil and the city of Salvador were synonymous with widespread racial democracy, and they accused us of conducting a racist campaign during Carnival. We just wanted to celebrate our origins, our mother country of Africa and our culture. Nothing more. It all started when my mother took me to an Iliae rehearsal. I was 10 years old and I saw the queen of the group dancing in the street. I asked my mother, who's that girl? She told me that she was the queen of Ile, the beauty queen. And that's when I said, I want to be queen too. My mother thought it was just a little girl's whim, but I grew up with the idea that one day I would be queen. A few days before carnival, thousands of people get together to honor Yemanja, the goddess of the sea in Afro-Brazilian religions. Everyone tells her their most intimate dreams and thanks her for the blessings received. They announced third place, then second. I had already completely given up hope. I was sad and said to myself, it's not going to be you once again. So when I heard first place Diana, I couldn't move. I couldn't believe it. As I was paralyzed, unable to express my joy, the other candidates surrounded me and hugged me. That's when I started to cry. My God. One of my dreams had just come true. The other was to complete my studies. After the competition, I told my mother that I didn't have any more tears left since I had cried too much. And I told her that it would be the same once I finished school. The new competition for the Ileaye Beauty Queen is getting close. Diana will give up her title and the new queen will take her place parading before thousands of spectators during carnival. The soul of Salvador is undeniably African. The spirituality of the Afro-Brazilian religions like Condomble fills the entire town. To the beat of the drums, the Maes de Santo, the priestesses, bless all those present with lavender incense the favorite perfume of the sea goddess.
quantas festas que consegue agregar. This is one of the few festivals that brings together everyone within the same unique vibe. Mesmo que no dia a dia, no cotidiano, nessa vida. The rest of the year, in everyday life, the energy of the African culture is mostly rejected. But today, it unites all the communities. White, black, blue, yellow, without distinction. Lasso Matumbi, the voice of Bahia. He was one of the first singers for Ile Aye and Olodum, two of the most famous Afro blocks in Salvador. His lyrics are about love and peace, reminding Salvador of its African roots. Look out the window. You won't see any unhappy face. No one is angry. Everyone is happy and united, making offerings and paying tribute to the goddess of the sea together, which is fairly paradoxical because we arrive by the sea as slaves. When I was 18, I signed up for the Eliai Beauty Contest. It was in 2005. The theme was Mozambique, and that's when everything started for me. I really loved Iliai so much, and I love it even more today. The theme of the contest changes every year, which lets us discover the stories of other countries and other black people. Throughout all these years, I've never stopped learning and studying. You're ready. Do you like it? I love it. It's fantastic. With the bracelet, too. I participated in the contest several times, then I took a break for three years when I had my children. But this year, I want to be the Ile Aie beauty queen. But what matters is participating in the Festival of Black People. This is Ile Aie's 40th anniversary. It's an event that will remain etched in our memories. I did not have the honor of participating in the creation of Ile Aie, but I feel like I'm one of its founding members. At the time, the Black Rebellion was breaking out everywhere. There was Aimé Césaire's famous speech, the creation of the Black Panther movement in the United States. Bahia was the first state, and Salvador was the first city in Brazil to raise this cry for freedom and lay claim to its negritude. We put black faces on screens with new criteria for beauty, like ethnic hair and colorful clothes. Over the years, Ile Aie started to pay tribute to black women because here they had always been at the bottom of the social ladder. We therefore created this black beauty contest because in this city, 
black women had never been considered as symbols of beauty. I signed up because I dreamed that Arani was calling me up on stage. I believe a lot in my dreams and my intuitions. This dream troubled me enormously. I dreamed about it every year, but this year was different. I woke up in tears. It was a day before the deadline to join. And I was the last candidate to sign up. I took the plunge. Good evening, Salvador. Good evening, Bahia. Good evening, Brazil. We are launching the 35th election of the Beauty Queen, the goddess of Ebony and Ile Aie. Good evening, Sandro. Good evening, Arani. Here are the 15 candidates in the running for the 2014 Ebony Goddess. Many stories and dreams are linked to this competition. Many young girls have had their lives changed through it. As a teacher and educator, I have worked with black girls who didn't know how to read or write, yet they were good girls. But at the time, this was the sad reality of black people. The competition encourages girls to get educated, and we help them in this process, notably with the creation of a literacy school in 1988. <laughs> It isn't just a beauty contest. It doesn't just judge the color of eyes, the shape of legs or waists. The decisive criterion is conscience. It's a citizenship contest. To be elected queen, the candidates must embody the sovereignty of Ile Aie and have the strength and enthusiasm that are essential to leading the parade during carnival. Each one creates her own costume and her own choreography, which is usually inspired by the ritual condomblé dance steps. For followers of this religion, they commune with their gods, the orishas, through dance and music. Their movements reflect the personalities of these deities and are linked to the elements of nature. King Shando dances with his arms open, lifted high like spreading fire. Yansha, the goddess of the wind has explosive gestures like moving air. The orishas of water, Yemanja, the goddess of the sea, and Oshum, the queen of fresh water, dance like waves in circular beckoning movements. Here's the 10th candidate of the evening. And here is... Go, Cynthia. Oh, 
The Acha is a tool the Candomblé priestesses use to call the deities, the Orishas. When the priestess shakes the Acha, all the house deities come to pay tribute. When I went up on stage, I heard people say, it's an Acha, it's an Acha. It's an extremely strong symbol for members of this religion. When I participated in the contest for the first time, I didn't hold out any hope. I was convinced that black people would never amount to anything. This was in 2006, and I also signed up for sewing classes to get ready. You could take a whole series of classes, both practical and theoretical. There were courses in mathematics, Portuguese, ethics. It was very diverse. And in these sewing classes, I was really accepted as a black person. Before, I wanted to do everything like the whites. I was ashamed of what I was. I didn't accept myself. I didn't wear turbans, I didn't wear earrings or lipstick, and more than anything, I wanted to have straight hair. I lost a lot of hair using a straightener to get rid of my curls. But when I discovered this movement created by the Ile group, when I started to learn more about the situation of blacks in Brazilian society, I wanted to contribute to show that blacks are also able to succeed. And I ended up accepting myself for who I am. I stopped straightening my hair. I started wearing turbans. I was no longer ashamed to go out. The time has come to discover the beauty queen the 2014 Ebony Goddess. The decision has been reached. We have the results in our hands. All the candidates we saw tonight will be part of our group, in any case. In third place. In second place, Vanya Silva Oliveira. And now we are about to discover the Ebony Goddess. The 2014 Ebony Goddess, Arani? Yes, and she'll be the one leading the cortege of some 3,000 joyous blacks coming together for the 40th years of Ile Aie. Right, Lazaro? And we will all be behind her dancing. Cynthia Paixão de Jesus! Ebony goddess for the 40th year of Ile Aie. She fought to win this title. She's participated several years in a row. It's so exciting. Let the music begin. And now, Cynthia will dance and embody this ebony goddess. I 
I heard Arani say, the 2014 Ebony Goddess is Cynthia Paschal de Jesus. I still feel as if I'm in a dream, as if I haven't woken up yet. Tomorrow is my first appearance as the Ebony Goddess. Really? For Ile, I didn't tell you. I'll be there. You'll be there? I'm nervous. My stomach is in knots. Everyone is going to come tomorrow. I have a lot of projects to help the neighborhood. I would like to organize meals to raise money for a neighborhood institution. God bless you. I want to contact the city councillors, the local elected officials, to organize a solidarity march. We have to help each other, right? You're right. If everyone who earns a bit of money could give some to those in need, Here is the other side of the Bahia Carnival, the chic part. If you compare these private mega floats to the carnival taking place on the other side, you'll see that the differences are huge. Here, the people in the street are stuck between barriers. The ropes that surround the blocks and rows of policemen. It's important to understand that carnival has two sides. There, it's the street carnival, the one for poor people in the suburbs, the blacks. Here, it's for the elite. Over time, this street festival, the Salvador Carnival, has drawn more and more people. In the late 1980s, it became important from an economic standpoint and transformed into a big festival industry. The Barra route is the showcase for this industry. Day and night, movable mega floats, the trios eléctricos, drive past privileged spectators in private cabins set up along its path. What is it called? Tribata. We came up with this name. That's interesting. 
Interessante. É interessante que assim mesmo eu, mesmo sendo instrumento. You have even made your own instruments and you know the sound of each one of them. Instrumento da da sonoridade da nota que cada instrumento tem emitindo. Aí eu é é como na realidade assim, o que eu fico observando. When I first started making music and it's still true today. Eu comecei a mexer com música. Percussion instruments were the only ones available to the black community in the suburbs. Da comunidade negra, da periferia, normalmente são os instrumentos percussivos, né? It's the community that makes them. Okay, okay. I remember the instruments that I had. There was the pandeiro, the cuica, the tambourine, the repic, the timbal, the sordo. My dream was to be able to touch a piano, to pick up a guitar. It's good to encourage young people to try their instruments. You play percussion, you play a wind instrument, and then you switch. You have to be curious. If you play a lot of different instruments, everything will seem easy for you. Everyone here has learned another instrument. That's good, that's it. It's right, brilliant. Great, great. I started when I was about five years old. I picked up one of my mother's pots and started banging on it. I played with friends who lived on the same street as I did. At the time, my mother liked the Olodum block and she followed Carnival as a spectator. When I was seven years old, she signed me up with the Olodum school. And when I was 12, I played for my first Carnival with the Olodum block. I would like to build a studio and have my own group. I would also like to create a music school and offer classes to people who don't have money and to children who are on their own. That's it.
carnaval é um privilégio. It's a privilege to play for carnival. Você ensaia o ano todo. It's a unique event that requires an enormous amount of organization and for which we rehearse all year. It's really a very special moment. Either at school, at university, or in the neighborhood, it changes the way people look at you. Overnight, they no longer see you as a boy like all the others, but as an artist. And that feels good. This will really help you for the turban, because the Ile one is big. If I do your hair like this, you won't need to use a lot of fabric. You have to be light, as fluid as water. Okay, honey? Even the blind will see you, because you are blessed. I met Negra Jo when I was 18. She was the one who did my hair for my first contest. She still has photos of me hanging in her salon. Negra Jo is like a second mother to me. Beyond the professional side, she guides us, tells us how to behave, how to talk, how to dress in a dignified way, what our roles are as black women in society. You are responsible for the 40th Ile Aie. You carry a large part of Carnival on your shoulders. When you dance for this group, you have to smile. It's part of your work, as opposed to me, as I dance for the Olodum block. I can dance how I want, because for 11 years I danced for it as queen. I never took any classes. I never went to dance school. I learned how to dance by dancing. I learned how to dance with candomblé. I learned how to dance while doing the dishes, washing clothes, going to the bathroom, mopping the floor. Because everything is dance. Everything is movement. Everything you do is dance. You just have to breathe, let your body go, and it will start to dance, to move. Your body dances. Your body dances. I can do that on my float. If I stretch, it turns into dance. You have to do it like that, with a big smile. Me, no. I do it like this. I stop, and then I'm back. I'm down, and then I'm up. That's me. Because I'm dancing with the ancestors. You too are dancing with the ancestors, but with those of another tribe. Keep smiling and stay strong. This is your time. You can no longer lose your title. You are the ebony goddess for the 35th year of the contest and the 40th year of Ile Aye. Understood? You're curvy, you're cute, you're the mother of two children, independent, a fighter and noble. Are we together? We're together. We are so proud that you are representing us. All the Orishas are with you. Thank you for everything, once again. Me, I've done my part. When I leave this world, I will leave behind successors who can say, I know how to do this and that because Negro Joe taught me. You have to sow to be able to reap. You're beautiful, you're magnificent. 
I love you. Me too, a lot, enormously. It'll be okay.
When I was young, I had enough strength in my arms to make big turbans. Today, I'm a young girl of 62. I don't like it anymore because I don't have the strength. Today, we are not just celebrating the anniversary of the Afro blocks, but also all that they have created over the years. The black beauty contests, black aesthetics, but also a new approach to our history. The official history and the school books have always ignored or deformed the true history of our people. To understand it, you have to listen to the words in the music of the Afro blocks. They tell the story of the resistance of black people. They speak of the black heroes and heroines who at different times refused to submit to the oppression of slavery. The Afro blocks have transmitted this entire legacy to each one of us.
que esses blocos deixam para todos nós.